Our next guest is a very funny man. He's making his feature film debut as writer, director, and star of a movie about a TV show. It's called Self Reliance. It premieres Friday on Hulu. Please say hello to Jake Johnson. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but uh, well, I'm sure you don't actually. But we hear your voice a lot at my house because you're Spider, you're the Peter voice Parker of Peter B. Yeah, in Into the Spider Verse, which is kind of great. Does that give you like a lot of like street cred with with kids? Yes, yeah, just not the face, but every once. In <laughs> Do the parents come up and go, you know who he is? You know what happens, Jimmy? Is every once in a while I'll be in line. Yeah. And I'll see a little kid. I'll say something. I'll be like. Yeah, two more of those, and I'll see a little boy go. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll do the. Really? Yeah, you know, my man, <laughs> your parents don't. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a really fun thing doing voiceover because you can't. During the pandemic, I would call, I would leave mo uh, voicemail as uh, Peter B. Parker, so I could say to kids, like, hey, this is Peter, I'm here in Queens, we're thinking of you. And then I could get videos, and kids were like, Oh my God! <laughs> Peter's real! <laughs> and if they see me, they'd be like, no, he's not real. <laughs> you started a podcast during uh, yes. during COVID, right? No, during the uh, strike. Oh, during the strike. Yeah. Okay, so it was more recent than that. With the great Gareth Reynolds. With Gareth Reynolds, who's a very, very funny yes, guy. I mean, How long have you guys known each other? 20 years. 20 years, we wow. We met in a, uh, we used to do improv, and we were at the Rustic Inn, uh, and it's a dive bar. Thank you. Uh -huh. No round of applause. No. <laughs> and we were sitting there drinking together, and we were both clowns in our show. And I said to him, hey, you want to pour these beers on our own heads? <laughs> and Gareth goes, yeah, man. <laughs> and so we went like this and poured. And I thought, like, wow, the first guy who's truly as dumb as me. <laughs> so we started a podcast where we give advice. <laughs> you story. do give advice. That's yes, the It's a the lot idea. of fun. And, you know, people, I'm sure, say to you, like, well, why would you give people advice? But why would anybody give anybody That's advice? That's how we see it. Right. <laughs> Who needs a therapist? Our kind of whole pitch is imagine you go to a bar and you've got, like, you know, a couple of drunk friends. Uh-huh. We're there to pitch ideas. It might not be the right idea. Uh-huh. But maybe the wrong idea gets you to the right place. <laughs> Perhaps. Who knows? I don't know. We, no <laughs> one will ever know, really. We're just pitching, Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> if you take the advice, we had to put a disclaimer that was Gareth's idea at the end <laughs> that says, be an adult. <laughs> Only take this advice if you like it. Because it finished and he's like, honestly, what are we doing? <laughs> These are real people with real problems. We're pitching like idiots. Do you have any idea like who's calling in and what their problem is beforehand? So, no, we like to keep, we were doing that at first, but then we would plan bits. Yeah, right. And yeah. it sucked. Yeah, but then do people call in with really serious problems? No. so we also had that. Okay, yeah. So, yeah. and those also sucked, where I'd be like, yeah. I don't know what to do, maybe get divorced, pass. <laughs> <laughs> Truly don't care, I'm not a therapist. <laughs> So our producer, Kevin, started finding them. And they have to be pretty stupid. Like, one of them was a woman's husband flosses in the living room. Uh-huh. Uh, and it's because his parents do it, too. So the whole family flosses in the living room. What do I do? And we're like, that's wheelhouse for us. That's for you guys. Because it's such a stupid problem, but it's also disgusting. And I'm like, I'm actually with you. So we said, do bathroom activities out there, too. Oh. So if they oh. want to say, if he wants to floss, when he flosses, paint your nails. <laughs> you want to push it, buddy, I'll wipe my butt out here. <laughs> How weird do you want to get, Jack? <laughs> so we're you... pitching really serious stuff. Now, what happened with the, um, I, I, the guy who looks like you? Yeah, the uh, yeah. fake Jake saga. Fake Jake. I got a, a DM from a girl who said it was really great meeting you at the Rain Dance Festival. OK. I'm a 20-year-old kid, and I go, uh, was it me? Yeah. And she said, yes, it was. And you gave such great advice, and you were so sweet. And I go, it really wasn't me. And I said, if you met me, like, can, did you take a photo with me? And she goes, I did. And so she sent a photo of the man who she was with. Who? <laughs> who does indeed resemble he, you. I showed my wife that, and she honestly goes, the eyes are there. 
<laughs> and so he, with a group of his friends, were hanging out with her. He was not a creep. I asked, like, did he try to perv out? She said no. <laughs> Would have been a different story if he did. <laughs> <laughs> but he was pretending to be me all night. But my favorite part was. Was he, do you think he set out to pretend to be you, or she no, said, I, oh, Jake Johnson? We had this dude on the podcast. Oh, OK. Because we found him. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Yes, because his friend owns a, a knockoff Viagra company called Mango. <laughs> All facts. So there's so a lot we, of knocking off going yes. on. Yes. So yeah. we found him, got in touch with Fake Jake, and had Fake Jake on the podcast. A lot of it, he read my credits. He knew a lot of it. He got two things wrong. One, he's a poet, and he okay. writes love poems. And two, he said that we, Jake, have slept with 500 supermodels. <laughs> And that's, and they, oh, also, they bought drinks for everybody. And Gareth is like, would never be Jake. <laughs> if you meet Jake in a bar, he will not buy you drinks. And he has not slept with 500 supermodels. 500, I don't think there are 500 supermodels. I don't either, but I will say to him or any other fake Jakes, keep that lie going. Yeah. If you're pretending to me, we've slept with the hottest of hot and all of them. <laughs> and we were half good. <laughs> not will great, you, let's not get insane. Will you keep in touch with fake Jake, or? Uh, no, <laughs> but I did have somebody email the show again, and what's really funny is people are, uh, uh, spotting him out and taking photos of him. <laughs> so they're like, got him again, where I'm like, he's dealing with paparazzi. What an amazing turn of events. In your movie, you have a fake Ellen DeGeneres. Yes, we do. We have a fake Ellen. Is that inspired by this experience? I wish. Yeah, I no, wish. no. No, we had to... Where do you find a fake Ellen DeGeneres? We had a really hard time with casting. OK. And then we started looking at any impersonator. Okay. So I was looking at fake Oprah's. Oh, you were? Yeah. OK, all right. I was looking at fake uh, Letterman's. Oh. Yes. But the problem is, is, in the scene, they have to do an impersonation of the person and then turn and attack me, because it's a comedic thriller. Uh -huh. So I realized a lot of people can do an impersonation. They then can't turn and be violent. Really? So like the fake Oprah's are great at saying, like, everybody gets a gift. But they can't then do, like, get in the effing car <laughs> as Oprah. Wow. So this one woman nailed it, and then we decided to write it as uh, L&D. What was it like directing yourself? Did you find yourself uh, to be difficult, uh, receptive? Super handsome on the monitor. Mm -hmm. uh, great at improvising lines. Really bad at memorizing. <laughs> Doesn't have a lot of range. So wait a minute. You wrote the movie, and yet you had trouble recalling the lines? <laughs> Yeah, it's a, I got a bad brain. That's why I do a podcast where I give advice. <laughs> the movie... Well, I would literally do it, and I'd like, forget a line, and I'd be like, who wrote this crap? <laughs> I think we could do it better if we just improvise it, no? The movie's about a reality show that I can't believe doesn't, exi doesn't yeah, exist I somewhere think it, I think it in will. the world. Yeah. It's about a guy who goes on a dark web show where they're hunting him for his life, and he's got 30 days to survive. And if he survives, he wins. Uh, and if they kill him, they kill him. Uh, but the catch is, he cannot be killed if he's with somebody. So for him, it's a very easy win. He'll just be with his family the whole time. Then the 30 days goes up, he gets a million bucks. He tells his family they don't believe him because he's going through a lonely phase. <laughs> so they say, this is a weird excuse to hang out with you all the time, and we're not doing it. And now he's in a situation where he's got to find a way to survive. So who he hires, who he hangs out with, he finds a love interest played by Anna Kendrick. And then the movie uh, happens. There you go. Well, congratulations. Thanks, it's Jim. very impressive. You put all this together. I mean, or maybe your impersonator did. I don't know. <laughs> somebody, <laughs> somebody put this together. Big Jake did a wonderful job. <laughs> he and I are doing the weirdest racket, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's backstage controlling me, telling me what to do. Uh, the movie is called Self Reliance. It premieres Friday on Hulu. Jake Johnson, the real one, everybody. <laughs> we'll be right back with Annie Bosco.